Hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. So one of the questions people have always asked me is how do we create clusters or cluster pages around the page we're trying to write? And how do we know that Google really understands what we're trying to do with the page um, or understand that or misunderstand it for that reason? Um, and there's an age old tactic that SEOs use and is still relevant today, interestingly, is we, we use Google's keyword research tool. Now it's usually used if you want to run advertising, uh, but it's an immensely powerful tool, even though it does not have all the bells and whistles, as I don't know, let's say, so for SEO, phrase, market views, but it gives you enough that when you match that with your experience doing SEO, you can do a lot more than, you know, there's someone who doesn't know SEO and they're just using those tools. Um, but the important thing here is to know exactly how to use it. Because there's so many people recommending just copying and pasting keywords that are missing from your page. Uh, and that doesn't really work. Uh, the good thing is that we have the power of, of ChatGPT. I'll use the paid version over here. But I would imagine that the free version would also work. And so, uh, if you're looking to rank a page and do good on page, this video is for you. Um, just want to also add here that I do SEO for a living. I provide SEO services, monthly SEO. And over the years, I've held over four dozen websites to rank number one for the keywords that they were targeting. Uh, I also offer SEO audit services. If you're trying to do your own SEO, you're not sure if you're in the right path or if you've been hit by a Google update. My audit services are probably what you should be getting and as you can see my audit services are not expensive they're very affordable compared to all, all the other gurus offer and i also provide you with not only an audit but a strategy at the end of the audit so you can use that to recover your website and improve your overall, overall seo not having to rely on an expert now there is something to be said for hiring an expert i always say if, if it's your business make sure you are an expert um, because they know what they're doing with your site uh, and how to address specific problems before they even become a problem. So just make sure that, uh, you know, if, if, if you care about your business, hire an expert like me to do SEO for you. Now, let's jump right into it. This is a page that supposedly I'm trying to rank. Uh, it's, a, it's a page that I'm trying to rank for SEO audits. I'm not in a very good job of, of ranking this page because I'm not putting any effort i just created the page and as you can see it's not really designed because i did it myself but let's say i wanted to rank this page uh what would i need to do so the first thing is i would copy the link over here so i'll copy the link which i did and i'll paste it so i'll go to google ads if you don't have a google ads account create a google ads account it's free uh create the account log in with your google if you have already if you have already a gmail account you can log in with your gmail you don't really need to set anything up um just go to keyword planner click here and paste your url over here so just click over here it says start with keywords we want to start with a website we'll start with a website and paste in the link over here and we'll use only this page and the reason for that is we want an analysis of this page not the entire website because I provided the services. I don't want to get, I don't want those services to get in the way of Google's analysis. Um, it click get results, click here. Um, the also the other thing is here, you can nail this down to the location. Uh, it's United Kingdom over here, maybe the USA, Dubai in my case. Um, so depending on where you're trying to rank, you can do that. Uh, and then you click just click on all of these keywords over here and you click copy all right now what you do is you go to chat gpt um and you go to explore gpts and you want to go to the anal the data analytics so by chat gpt data data analyst uh start and what you want to do here is please root the list of keywords uh Based it below in terms of thematic 
relevance. All right, let's enter this over here. And by this, what I mean is that grouping keywords in terms of how they relate in terms of the theme and not really the words within them. So thematically, thematic relevance is now more important than just having a bunch of keywords on your page. So keywords are still important. That's not to say they're not. But now you need to be more thematically aware of how they're relevant to on your page and on your website and how they connect to each other. And so with this, which is also not perfect, but it's 75% good, I guess, um, it'll give you a very good idea as to where to start. Um, you know, when you're, if you're trying to rank your page, and so right off the bat, it starts giving me uh, teams. So generally what I'll do is I'll go through this and I'll create pages for SEO audits and checkers. I'll create a page for SEO analysis and tools, website and SEO optimization, uh, SEO audits and website anal analysis, SEO strategy and marketing. And I'll create these pages and I'll optimize those pages for these keywords over here. And I will then hook them up to the page over here that I find rank. So this will be my pillar page and these will be my cluster pages. Um, and I'll also link from this main page to these cluster pages. And I'll make these pages semi-informative, which means that all of these pages, people will be able to click on a link that will take them over here to buy my service, or I will just put my service link on the page so people just, just directly buy my SEO audit directly off those pages, um, depending on what I want to do. Uh, SEO analysis and tools, uh, website and SEO optimization. I probably already have this page on the site. I just need to re-optimize it for these keywords or make sure that they're optimized for these keywords. Um, as you can see how this can, can help you create a cluster. Now, I can do this for another page just for demonstration purposes only. I'll go to monthly SEO and you'll see how this works differently for each page. So it's uh, been optimized for goodbye, but we'll, we'll see how this works. So click paste over here. It's all in this page where I get results. Um, all right, so we've, we've got results over here, 1,831 keywords and we'll go to chat GPT. We'll copy the prompt that we had over here. Here's the prompt because I don't want to go in and pipe the prompt each time and I'll do the same thing, uh, over here and we will, um, copy and paste. And if you go to these keywords over here, these are search engine optimization. So you can see that Google understands that this page is related to search engine optimization. If you see unrelated keywords here, it means Google doesn't understand what your page is about, which means that you need to re-optimize your page or rewrite your page. And so that's one of the hints, one of the questions people always ask me is how, how do we know Google understands our page? And by this, you can tell if Google understands what your page is about and thematically, if your page is relevant to the keyword you're trying to target, which in my case, broadly, it is search engine optimization. Uh, so see, this is professional SEO Dubai. Even though I don't have search engine optimization in the H1 over here um, or the title, it's not until below that I had it test spelled out as search engine optimization. But, but Google can see that and you know, right off the bat, it's like searching optimization. So it's thematically gone ahead. It's created these clusters. Again, this is not perfect. This will give you a very good idea of where to start. I would usually, you know, if I didn't have money, this is what I would do and create these pages. But uh, if I'm doing this for a client, I'll plug these keywords into Surfer SEO and then do the content and create these pages. Um, so basic SEO and, and understanding, this will be like a... Uh, an informational page that will be hooked up to the main page over here that we're trying to write SEO testing and analysis, SEO services at companies. So this is the page. These keywords should be on the page that I'm trying to rank here technically. So I'll make sure that these keywords are on that page, uh, local and regional SEO. So I should definitely have a section over here for local SEO. If I don't have one content and marketing should I have a page for this, uh, website and web design SEO. Again, the, I don't offer web design, but probably consider adding a page for this. Um, even if it's like an informational page, uh, 
Google SEO and optimization. I don't think we need to create this page, but maybe this can be a blog post that then connects to this page. SEO strategy and best practices. Again, this can be a blog post. Uh, specialized SEO services. I think I think we can add these keywords to the existing services space. So, so you can see, like, we we'll probably need to create like three to four pages, maybe five pages uh, that are cluster pages that will link to this page. They'll help boost its relevancy, and then you'd also rank for these keywords in it in it of itself. So this will bring in a fair amount of traffic. Um, as you can see, that this is very easy to do. Anyone can do it, and this will give you quick wins. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've utilized this otherwise, this otherwise underutilized tactic, and how far have you gone with it. Uh, and I will see you guys, uh, and, and make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.